Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land con, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the dedication. It's like the Olympics. I'm feeling like Tom Brady, uh, for the 80s, reinstated, hey, where we at with it, I can't stand this shit. Yo. <laughs> oh shit, I always forget to fix this I don't want y'all to see the fan Because I don't want y'all to be like, oh he's so holy Welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work I'm Lord Shu If you're watching this outside of Twitch Go make a Twitch account Please so it looks like I'm dropping frames. I don't know why. Not quite sure. Let's let's see what's going on in the world. Um visit my website, shoelovesrebels.com. I know y'all seen that new commercial, man. New commercial just popped up out of the blue. Like what's good? Y'all know what it is, man. It's Lord Shoewax back in this bitch. Back to give y'all some new knowledge today. We gonna keep it funky. If you haven't been to my website, you should definitely go check it out. I just dropped the album cover for Lord of Perfected Work today. Or not Lord of Perfected Work, but Shoe Pro. <laughs> See, that's my next project actually. But we just gonna keep it about Shoe Pro. So, Shoe Pro is finally finished, as y'all see. The release date is October 5th. But, for all my Twitch people, for those who are on Twitch, y'all will be able to watch this stream and, and hear the whole album the weekend before the album drops. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all consider yourselves blessed by Lord Shoe. You're welcome. I did this for y'all because y'all been rocking with me. Been holding it down, showing the channel love. And it just makes me happy that we actually uh, again some good reception from the people about Lord of Perfected Work. And you know, just, just making shit happen. So much appreciation to y'all. Much love to y'all for just showing love for the fact that I put out this project and people just like responding you know what i'm saying they responded to the shit so i couldn't be happier i'm just happy that everybody is uh actually trying to fucking support show love and support to this fucking record so i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm really excited i'm really happy so just mind me for a second here <laughs> so today's stream is called samadhi now, what is Samadhi? Well, according to the Indians, having the highest state of mental concentration, where I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but today I'm gonna go in exactly how I apply my life to my own personal Samadhi. But Samadhi is having the highest 
mental concentration where one is still within the body you haven't transcended the body but you're you're physically existing through your mental concentration because you can have concentration and transcend the body uh, forms of that would be like uh, astral traveling and deep you know super deep meditation where uh you uh leave the body through your meditation so samadhi according to myself would be um say for example you are a painter and you paint samadhi would be instead of you being a painter you're the painting that is samadhi to me when you are so focused and I I had a uh, I had made a post on Instagram on my Instagram story talking about how meditation is cool but to me it feels like uh, samadhi or focusing on a single point I actually put fill in the blank I focus I f concentrate on this whatever's in this blank that is your destiny. So to me, um, completing, you know, going into a state of samadhi is actually you going into a state of fulfilling your destiny. So I myself have gone into my own personal state of samadhi, which I'm not just, you know, Lord Shu anymore, but I am the, the, uh, I guess what you will call the uh, hmm, what's a good word I can use? I mean, the digital art that I create, that I am that shit. I live that shit. The shit that I put behind my art, I am that shit. You know, so it's a lot more to my process than just creating art. You know, there's uh, things that I do so that I'm even wanting to be in a state of being artistic, of being creative. And every person who is uh, fulfilling that destiny within themselves has a process that they do, and they are they live that process. And I live my art. You know, my music is more than just me making music. You know how people write songs. Like these, this music is about my life. Every song is about my life, and I will continue to do that. You know, my music is personal to me, so I don't make records to be making records you know what i'm saying like people have songs or like oh I, this is a song for people to dance to like i make records for you to dance to but they still be about my life you know what i'm saying so i just moved past that point of just doing shit just to be doing it for the sake of winning awards and shit like that but at the same time i do that also so i'm i'm living how I feel I am. If I was just a full 100% like artist just making, you know, bajillions of dollars making art, I'm living that life. I'm not, you know, uh, working towards that life. I am that life. And I'm living that life as if I've already am making bajillions of dollars being a digital artist because I am the living prayer of that. So... Now that I've summarized kind of what Samadhi is to me and what Samadhi is according to the Indians, not the Native Americans, but the Indians, even though I'm a Native American, but I'm going to explain a process that I do, but I'm also going to explain processes that you can do that will make it easier for you to connect to your samadhi. So, let's jump into it. Now, I'm gonna open up my book real quick. Hopefully I can find it. Hopefully I can find the book. Hopefully I can find the book. I'd be lucky if I do. Let's 
see if I can search this shit. So how's everybody doing today, though? I know my motherfucking allergies been driving me fucking crazy. I'm not quite sure why either. It's kind of weird. Yeah, seem like every time I try to uh, not get like fucked with by my allergies, it just like, gets worse and worse. <laughs> but I mean, that's cool, you know. That just lets me know that my fucking nose works still. And maybe at some point, shit won't bother me as much anymore. But who knows? I don't know how shit's gonna go here in the next few weeks as this rollout with this album's going, so my mental state is kind of off right now. But who knows? Maybe eventually if I just keep on fucking pushing and pushing hard like I've been doing and just staying in my state of samadhi, concentrating on my one thing. And right now my one thing is just creating. Creating all my art. Doesn't matter what the fuck it is. I pretty much know this shit off the top of my head, so let's get into it. All right, so in my book, I talk about this. So y'all getting a little preview to the book. If you buy the album, well, if you buy any of the merch, you get the book for free. And if you subscribe to Tier 3, I will give you this book for free as well, along with my album. And you get uh, put into the drawing for getting the, um, the mystery box. Because I am giving away a free mystery box with the album, the book, and some extra content. And I just got another piece of the uh, box today. So, it's gonna be litty. But I'm gonna do an official video for that. I'm gonna uh, film it with my uh, Canon instead of using the webcam and shit like that, so. All right, so let's get serious. Samadhi. Now, concentration. How does one concentrate? Focus, how does one focus? Well, first, you got to get rid of all the noise out of the way first and figure out what exactly it is that you want to focus on. Because when you focus on more than one thing, you become overwhelmed. You can't have full focus and you can't have full concentration into just many fucking things. It's impossible unless you a fucking super brain. It's not going to fucking work. So start with choosing your one thing. Now, I know it's going to sound hard as fuck, but that one thing has to be able to branch off into several things that you like doing. So you find your one thing that will make all the little branches of everything else easier to study after so long and easier for you to concentrate on after so long. Because once you master number one, then mastering number two, three, four, five, and six will be easier. So um, I'll give you an example. My full concentration right now is into music. Now, I would like to say that I've mastered music, but I haven't. So in order for me to be a better musician, I have to practice in everything that pertains to my craft, which music is my craft. So every day I wake up and I study and I find certain shit that goes into creating music. So that would be songwriting, sequencing, arrangement, the whole shit, music theory 101. So. As of right now, when I wake, I, I have a schedule first. So, um, first you find your number one. After you found number one, then you make a schedule. Now your schedule should be very loose. You don't want to be making a schedule where every hour you have something that you follow in because it's going to be harder to follow that schedule. Now, if you're disciplined as fuck, see, it's, it's, if you already ain't figured out number one, being disciplined is already hard as fuck for you. So it takes being disciplined to get your number one thing that that brings all of your talents and skills or brings all your talents into one. So for me, I would say that uh, communications will be a good thing for me as well. But, you know, I don't really be studying communications and shit like that. I focus on the main thing, which would be my music. Damn, why this shit dropping frames like crazy right now, bro? Like, I don't understand. All right, well, y'all probably can still hear me, so fuck it. So, 
I find my one thing and I focus on several different things that make it easier for me to zoom into that fucking process. So if I'm, hey, what's going on, bro? So if I'm focusing on my one thing, now it, it's it's my main my main thing that I'm putting all my energy into. So, uh, I made my schedule and I follow it. I might do something on the schedule that might go like every. I don't know, every four or five hours. Because like I said, you got to be super disciplined to follow a schedule that has something for you to do every hour. And honestly, for average work week, if you're working for yourself, because I assume that you're doing this so that you can make money from this and not have to go to a nine to five job working 40 hours a week to only make so much money when you could have full control over uh, all your creativity. So the first thing... Like I said, find your one thing. Second thing, make a schedule. Third thing, find a spiritual practice. I don't give a fuck if you're not spiritual, bro. If I don't... All right, there's a there's a philosophy called stoicism. If if you're not spiritual, then fuck with sto, stoicism, okay? And I'll put that in the chat because stoicism actually helps me out as well. And this is the art of being stoic. I'm not going to go too into it because I just will assume that if you're watching this channel, you have some sort of a spiritual practice. And by spiritual practice, I mean an act that you do physically that connects you with spirit. So for some people, that might be praying, meditation, yoga. I do Qigong. That is my spiritual practice. It is one that I've committed to. So I take the time out to study Qigong, but also perform qigong so find your spiritual practice so find your one thing make a schedule find your spiritual practice that works for you okay having a relationship with spirit makes everything easier because you're calmer you actually can focus on your shit without being so into your ego because you're surrendering to a higher power and you're giving you're giving the most difficult things like dealing with humans on a level that's not super intimate you're giving that to a higher power to deal with that because it's hard to for me it's hard to um be intimate with everybody you know what i'm saying it's find your people so that's going to be the next thing after you have found your spiritual practice find like-minded individuals it's easy to work do your thing if you're working with a bunch of artists already or you're working with a bunch of scientists already are you working with a bunch of philanthropists already? So, one, find your main thing. Two, make a schedule. Three, find your spiritual practice. Four, find your, your soul family or like-minded individuals. So now, you done got your squad, you're doing your spiritual practice, you're following your keys every day, your code, your ethics every day. You're focused on your one thing, so it makes it easier instead of just being so all over the fucking place trying to goddamn figure out what you're gonna do because you got all these fucking hundreds of things you're trying to sort through like trust me i just recently started fucking focusing on one thing like i had to get rid of so many extra side projects that it just became to the point where the shit was overwhelming for me so i focused on one thing at a time all right i need to finish my album album finish okay i need to finish my album cover album cover finish all right i need to make video edits for my album release Video edits slowly being completed one by one for what the purpose that they serve. So y'all understand where I'm going? You you building up to your projects and you have uh, each individual idea is it's one. It's not uh, a thousand ideas at one time. So then you got your spiritual practices, which is keeping you focused on your samadhi, keeping you in tune with that that one thing that mental concentration focused on that single point and then you got your soul group or your or your like-minded individuals around you keeping you focused on your shit also so you got people telling you hey man don't give up stay focused on this shit hey bro you're doing a great job hey bro this was cool but i think you should do this different you got people giving you constructive criticism helping you in your process to grow as an individual towards your destiny so 
now that you're you're with your soul group, now it makes it easier to fucking push through. Because doing shit alone, I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight up, it's it's possible, but it's hard. It's possible, but it's harder. So just always keep some people around you that's always gonna keep uplifting you towards that shit, man. Always. Then what you learn, after you've learned it, you teach other people. And those like-minded individuals that you find, have them help you. If if you can truly trust them, have them help you in and being a better person, being a better artist, or being or whatever it is that you do. Get those people to help you. You know what I'm saying? They're already around. Y'all already wasting each other's time. Well, to me, it's a waste of time if y'all not building. If, if there's no, no kind of building, no back and forth, y'all wasting each other's time. Like, you can have an intimate relationship with these people, but y'all got to stay focused on the task at hand. Like, me and 11 and 11 are like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I checked it out. You um you sent me some, uh, some reading material, too, from the last time that we spoke. I checked out that YouTube channel you sent me, like... All of that shit has... Listen, y'all. Everything that Void Thought uh, sends me into my into my chat box, like, all this shit be legit. So, y'all should definitely fuck with him. And, and even though I'm not on here all the time, y'all should hit him up as much as you can on... Um, on fucking... Twitch, because I think that he said all he uses is Twitch. I don't think he has social media. Matter of fact, yeah, he told me he don't have social media. So y'all should definitely hit him up on here and fuck with my dog, because homie, homie be having some legit ass information. And I'm always down to learn shit too, bro. So yeah, he said yeah. So he don't have social media. So y'all check him out. But yeah, me and 1111, we like this. We, we work toward, oh yeah. And for those who uh, who don't know what he's talking about, look up this word, okay? I could explain it to y'all, but this is the the type of shit that he sends me. It be more like like personal, like this shit is for more personal usage. You know what I'm saying? For you, like how I'm telling y'all about finding that one thing. This type of shit. Will help you find that one thing But there's so many different processes Of finding the one thing as well That's why I told y'all for real for real Find a spiritual practice That will help you stay stay Focused Build that mental fortitude So that you're not like distracted by fucking Strippers okay Cause they're everywhere bro It's easy to get distracted by a stripper Don't, don't be that guy Cause I am that guy <laughs> I love strippers but listen, whenever you are focusing and you start to waver, bruh, stop what you're doing for real. Don't even, don't, just stop doing the shit for real. Stop doing that shit altogether. And I'm going to tell y'all why. When you get to that point where you're like, damn, man, I kind of want to do something else. Just stop doing the shit. There's times, okay, there's times where you push through and you're like, all right, man, I'm going I'm to push through and I'm going to fucking work hard and you know complete my goal but i'm telling you if you found that one thing you won't have that feeling bro you will literally be like fuck i don't have enough time in the day like i that's literally how i am i'm like fuck it's just so much shit and i don't have enough time in the day it's always like that for me man fuck it's never enough time in the day and then I end up losing sleep because I'm so excited about waking up the next day to come to finish what I didn't finish the previous day. See, when you find that one thing, you will never have that feeling like, damn, bro. Like, I, only time I have a feeling like that is with these streams. But the only reason is because I'm so excited about fucking making music that these streams are honestly on the back burner for that shit, man. And I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all, but the fact that I'm I push myself to do these streams because of music and the information. I want to give y'all the music. I want to give y'all the information. So this goes hand in hand. 
But see, now that I'm done with this album, I can actually focus on doing this shit. Because I was doing that album and working on it so much that I was just burnt out for real. I was so burnt out that by the time the streams came up, I didn't want to do them. And that's probably more how I feel about it anyways. Because I want this channel to change into what I want it to be now. But I have to finish that project, which I, it's done now. But I had to finish that project first in order for me to even want to do this shit now. Because I know that project was holding me back from doing Lord of Perfected Work. Like, I don't like feeling like that. And I don't like giving y'all half-ass shit. So, pretty soon, since the album's done, the channel is... I'm getting that excitement again about doing these streams. Because at first, bro, I must tell y'all straight up, I hate, I dreaded doing this shit because I already don't like how the channel is when I know how it's supposed to be. And when you know how something's supposed to be, you know you want it to be a certain way, you are gonna wanna do it that way. But then you're just like, ah, I gotta finish this. I can't put my whole heart into doing this shit. So it's, it's tough, man. And I don't like giving y'all half-ass shit, for real, for real. I really don't, like... I'm just happy that now I can actually do Lord of Perfected Work exactly how I want to. So just in the coming days to weeks, I'll be putting new music out. The uh, the, the newest single since y'all my stream family, my, my Twitch family, y'all get the information before everybody else do. And that's real. Like Instagram gets shit late now. Facebook gets shit late now. YouTube getting shit late now. So... It's just what it is. Yo, 1111 keeps sending me shit, y'all. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Let's find out, shall we? Let us find out. Um, ooh. She talking about ignore it. Man. All right, y'all, so uh, I got some new versions of the logo. You know, I won't use them over the official logo, but I will be using them for uh, content for sure because they're so pretty. And look, they got the directions on them. I can't even show y'all this shit. You'll just, you'll see them. They'll be popping up. Damn, this shit is hard, though. Damn, this shit tough. So, for sure, I can't, I can't even cap like I'm just not fucking excited about this channel again, because I really am. I cannot wait to to show y'all how this channel is really supposed to be. I just, I started the channel just so that I can build a relationship with people on here. Like my dog Void thought, that's my homie now, and Eleven Eleven, that's that's been, I love this nigga. Okay. She she been around since the beginning, ever since fucking, uh, goddamn Keys to the Island. She been around since Keys to the Island came out, and that was my first project I released on uh, United Masters. So that was like what going on four years ago, and then fucking Tefnit, she she uh, helped me out with a whole bunch of shit. Okay. Man, you, right before I get off the stream, I'm not going to play the song because they fucking jammed up my last video, but I will listen to it while I'm on the stream before I get off so I can tell the people to check it out too because I definitely passing music around like it should be. We should have our own fucking playlist, honestly, but y'all know how Twitch is, man. As soon as I try to make a playlist with other people's music, they be fucking cock blocking, dog. I hate that shit, man. But it's all good. We gonna get it popping today, man. Play some shit. Check check some shit out, and we can chop it up about some information. Cause I know you've been fucking studying some new shit too, dog. I know you got some new shit. Yeah, bro. I know you understand. These motherfuckers be cock blocking on here, bitch ass niggas. All right. So my peoples, y'all know I care about y'all. Y'all know I fucking put the put the fucking streams up so i got a surprise for y'all matter of fact i will play 
I will play the new single off of fucking the 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 next single that's coming out. Is if y'all don't leak it, man, don't leak it, y'all. <laughs> don't leak the motherfucking single. It's coming out so uh, officially on September second. But since y'all my peoples, I'm gonna play it for y'all uh, on a private session tomorrow. So I'm gonna drop the stream at six p.m. like normal. But this stream, I'm not I'm not gonna save it. So I'm gonna do a um uh, oh yeah. Yes. I am on Spotify under Skylounge Recordings. And I just typed it in the chat. So check that out, homie. And I'm I'm on YouTube, like all all of it. If you wanna support, you know, make a play if you got a playlist on your YouTube, my music is also on YouTube under Skylounge Recordings. And I also have a YouTube channel. That's uh, Skyline's recordings as well. So it's like two of them. The, but my music, I have a playlist of all my albums on my Skyline's recordings personal YouTube. So even if you don't find the other one, that music is on there as well. But yeah, y'all know I'm gonna drop that single for y'all tomorrow for the for the Twitch family only though. Twitch family only. So if y'all got people y'all want, if you if you sharing the stream and y'all want people to check out the new song, it's on there. And I'm gonna start the stream with this shit too. So I'm gonna let everybody get in. You know, I'll probably do like 10, 15 minutes, let everybody get in on the stream tomorrow. And then um we're gonna get that show on the road. Cause I definitely want y'all to hear this new stream or this new uh, single. It comes out officially on September second, though, uh, on all the streaming platforms and on YouTube, SoundCloud, and all that. So, uh, if if it doesn't, it'll definitely I'll definitely link y'all to it. My Twitch family, y'all will hear it on Bandcamp for sure. Cause I actually have the whole album out on Bandcamp. Y'all can't hear it yet. It's a uh, private, but if y'all want a private link to it on October second when I do the live stream, only if you my only if you on Twitch and you follow me on Twitch, well I send you this fucking this album, private album. Okay, <laughs> you gotta be Twitch fam. Sorry, sorry if you're watching this from outside of Twitch. If you are, make a Twitch account and subscribe at tier one if you got Amazon Prime. But if you subscribe at tier three, I will give you this album for free, the book I just wrote that I'm releasing, and you get put in for um, the giveaway that I'm doing on September 21st. You get put in first before everybody else. So I might as well. I, I guess I'll tell y'all about the uh, the giveaway first, since. I talked about it on a previous stream, but I'll talk about it one more time. So I'm doing a, a giveaway for one of the um, HBSX, which is Have Blood Song X Mystery Pop or Mystery Box. Now Have Blood Song X is my old artist name, but I named the box after him in honor of the old energy that got me here today to be the artist that I am. So basically this box will contain the album, my book, and a bunch of other goodies basically merch that i created and no one else will ever get and this is i'm only doing this one giveaway so you'll if you'll get the album everything before everybody else does and you'll have it on your computer and you could leak it to the world if you want to i don't give a fuck but i want to give one special person this project and all the gifts the goodies that come with it so Y'all be on the lookout for uh, the entry date, but if you subscribe at tier three, you automatically are in the the running for that. So, and you you get the album for free anyway. So you know what I'm saying you get a hard copy with my tag on it. Cool shit. You know what I'm saying. It's a lot of cool shit come with this box. You'll see a video of it on here. Believe me when I tell you guys, you will see a video. So. Just thought I'd give y'all a reminder again. I constantly remind y'all up until the 21st. I probably remind y'all a while up until the shit drops. So y'all be on the lookout for that shit. Much love to y'all for even checking in and being Twitch family. Because we gonna make this fucking shit. We gonna make this shit pop.
popular. We gonna turn this album up on our own, just the Twitch family anyways, before uh, we get to anybody else. <laughs> For Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So, back to Samadhi. This is how I'm focusing. By coming on here and doing these Twitch streams, this is helping me stay focused on my projects to give to y'all because y'all the reason I create. Y'all are the reason I create. I create for myself, of course. But the fact that I got people who are genuinely interested in my personality and the things that I do and they come on here and they show support and they show me love and, and I show y'all love because I give a fuck about y'all too. It just, it makes it easier to want to keep creating. It keeps me going forward because y'all are my, y'all are my soul family. Y'all are my like-minded individuals. So when you got people that you can fuck with, whether it be on the internet, whether it be in real life, connect with them as often as you can. See, Void Thought only uses Twitch, so that means I have to get on Twitch more. That means I have to be on Twitch as much as I possibly can with the times that I have, which is why I'm on here today, so I can connect with my brother. But just always try to keep a schedule so you don't wear yourself out, and you're gonna be straight. It's going to be easy to align with your purpose with ease. It's not even going to, it's not, it's going to, it's going to be fucking second nature, man. And before you know it, you'll be on here every day. Like how I went hard for the first month. I was on this bitch every day. If I possibly could be, you know, I put, I put time aside to be on here to connect with the people. So find that one thing y'all and make it your lifestyle, you know? People see me on here and they say, man, that guy's devoted to, to whatever he's doing. He's devoted to that shit. And I am. I'm devoted to my music. This album that uh, I'm putting out on October the 5th this year. I started, I started writing and recording this album in 2017. It's 2021. And I put out another album in 2018. So that lets y'all know how long I've been working on this project and how much shit I had to go through to even create this shit. Now, because my life is different from those past four years, putting out projects is gonna be not, it's not gonna take as long. The fact that I can drop singles whenever I want makes it easier for me to put projects out to y'all so that y'all can get it on y'all phones and y'all don't have to go on all these different platforms to look for it. It'll go straight to where you'll find me. So if y'all got Spotify, follow me on Spotify. If y'all got Apple Music, follow me on Apple Music. You know, uh, Tidal, follow me on Tidal. I got all, all my music is on all this shit. Yandex, all this shit, man. Uh, VK, my music is on all everything. So y'all fucking with me. Y'all know I'm everywhere on the internet. You could literally type in Skylines Recordings. Or you can type in Shoe Loves Rebels. And everything that's it's everything about me is going to pop up under these things. With a simple Google search. Or you can search it on DuckDuckGo. And y'all can y'all link up to me. And you'll see what I've been doing the past five, six years. Really since 2006. Everything I've been doing since 2006 is, is on the computer. So if y'all want to get to know me on a personal level. Um. Uh, I just, I really care about people and serving them in some form or fashion, whether it be through my creativity and just making people comfortable enough to just think the crazy thoughts or dance recklessly in their crib with their fucking underwear off. Just, I don't know. It's a, it's a connection to y'all that sometimes is almost better than connecting to myself because I feel like I'm connecting to myself and different bodies not even sometimes I, I love the feeling of connecting with people that's not me because I connect with myself all the time you know I, I have a lot of self conversation like I do shit like this how I'm talking to just the camera I do this with myself so I tend to do this a lot and most of the time it's because I want that that intimacy that I'm having right now with y'all I would like to have it with more people so that we can build and have real conversations about how we can serve the community or 
y'all can offer me advice about how I can serve the community and and you know going further into the future how we can change shit together. Even if you know, like Void thought he's following a path of self ascension, he might have something that he could tell me on here. Like all the time, he's giving me information. I take that information and I I give it to the people. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what this shit is about. It's about all of us on here getting in the chat and and just talking and figuring out solutions to problems and just being close closer to each other and being a family. You know what I'm saying? You know, we get on here, we can fucking joke, you know, listen to music together. Hey, bro, I got this new song. Check this shit out. Like how we do now. But at the end of the day, I want I'm looking for solutions to problems. You know, problems that we can fix. Like we're we're a group already. So eventually as the channel continues to uh grow and get better, this is even a new form of concentration. Like I don't even I feel like I'm surpassing somebody and I'm in like nirvana doing this shit right now because I'm just in a state of letting my identity go you know what i'm saying like you know i call myself lord shoe when i get on here but this is for this stream my identity is something that i use for the purpose of connecting with the world but as far as i'm concerned with myself personally right now when i'm not when i'm alone or if i'm talking to 11 11 sometimes i just say the wildest shit just to observe what my body does my brain does because these things are not who i am I am beyond these things. I've transcended beyond these things. But at the same time, I'm going to let this, this body do what it wants while I just observe it. And then when I decide to step back in, then I do the conscious work with myself to be able to connect with people and myself. See, sometimes I probably piss old girl off. And I know she probably like, God ah, damn this nigga. But it's only because... I have to I have to see what what else in me with my body is still doing stupid shit, saying stupid shit. Kriya Kriya is it Kriya or Kriya? Did I pronounce it the first way right or the second way right? Kriya yoga. No, I've never done Kriya yoga or Kriya. It's probably Kriya. I've never done Kriya Yoga. But I'm gonna look Kriya Yoga up now. So let's see. It's the last one. Kriya. Oh, Kriya. Okay. Alright, so let's look up Kriya Yoga. Alright, y'all. We're gonna go into the shoe, the uh the shoe live stage real quick and we're gonna go into shoe live uh where's my video capture okay all right y'all so we can be together while we look up this awesome information okay y'all so the homie says that he enjoys Kriya Yoga. So let's see if we can't make this bigger. Okay, it's kind of big. Y'all probably not going to be able to see it on y'all's phones, though. If you're watching this on a bigger screen, y'all are in luck. All right, so I'm going to read to y'all what Wikipedia is going to tell me about Kriya Yoga. I'm mad that we're using Wikipedia, but hey, it is what it is. I just got to make sure that y'all can somewhat see it. All right, so Kriya Yoga is the active aspect of yoga. The Yoga Sutras of Pantanyali 2.1 defines three types of Kriya, action. So Kriya means action, I'm guessing in Sanskrit. The Yoga of Action. The Yoga of Action, Kriya Yoga, is asceticism, tapas, which tapas are a variety of austere spiritual meditation practices in Indian religions, okay? So, tapas. 
actually be getting that card a lot when uh, 1111 does tarot for me. Because, you know, she like my personal spiritual person that I go to when I start feeling crazy and I'll be like, yo, I think I'm having uh, motherfucking moments where I'm like straying away from my path. Okay, so the yoga of Kri the yoga of action, Kriya Yoga, is asceticism, recitation, recitation, and devotion. Svadhyaya, Svadhyaya. Oh shit. Okay, fuck it. Svadhyaya is a Sanskrit term which means self study and especially the rec recitation of the Vedas and other sacred texts. And devotion, pranadana, pranadhyana, to Ishvara, Ishvara the Lord. Ishvara is a concept in Hinduism with a wide range of meanings that depend on the era and the school of Hinduism. In ancient texts of Indian philosophy, depending on the context, Ishvara can mean supreme self, ruler, lord, queen, king, or husband. Okay, it is a modern school described by its practitioners as the ancient yoga system revived in modern times by Maha, Maha, ba, Mahabharata Babahi through his disciple Lahiri Mahasaya. Mahasaya? Mahasaya. Circa 1861. Okay, the yoga of action. All right, y'all. And this is, this guy in the picture is Mahabhatar Babahi. So this is the founder of Kriya Yoga. And he taught it to Lahiri Mahasaya. 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 He looked, he looked like he in the zone too. You see how he looking up? Om. <laughs> we start chanting Om in this bitch. Yeah. Oh, wrong window. All right. So we're going to go back to the main stage. Well, y'all. Kriya Yoga sounds like something that I can get into for sure. I'm a practitioner of Qigong. I just started recently, but I resonate with Qigong a lot. So, the homie says, it's yoga for li liberation. And it has another name. 1111. What's your favorite card deck? Void Thought wants to know. Yeah, I, uh, my favorite uh, Qigong stance right now is probably the snake. And uh, soon I will be doing Qigong live on Twitch so y'all can connect with me. So y'all can send me your energy. Like when Goku used to raise his hands up and do the spirit bomb, he'd be like, people of Earth, send me your energy. That's that's how we going to get down on uh, on this bitch, man. But all right, y'all, we got 10 minutes left in the stream. So I'm going to play this song by the homie. We're going to see what's to it. Um, all right, first, let me make sure I know. Okay. Make sure I know music coming through because that's the reason why my fucking shit the last time was fucking being stupid. Dang, 1111, you not gonna answer this man question? I'm pretty sure she likes using Oracle decks a lot. Tripping weight, okay, so that's what it is. She used the tripping weight deck on me the other day. It's very colorful. <laughs> All right, so 
The song that Void Thought sent me is called Ayahuasca by King Iso. Like King Isometrics. All right, y'all. So we listening to uh, Ayahuasca by King Iso. And I'm going to put it in the chat too. So let me do that first. <laughs> Hope I spell that right. I, 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 ayahuasca. Okay, so I pronounced that shit fucking trash as fuck. Ayahuasca. All right. Let's get this road or this show on the road. <laughs> Let's get this road on the show. Fuck it. Oh yeah, this dude is fire. Oh shit. Yeah, this dude is flowing like fuck. be them esoteric bars that do it for me too, bro. Yeah, this hook is dumb as fuck, though. This shit is tough right here. Yeah, I fuck with this hook a lot, man. Hey, that shit hard. Mind, mind, body, and soul. My life is out of control. Hey, this shit tight. That man said, energy is everything. We are all electric beings. Yeah, this shit is nice, bro. I mean, I didn't expect nothing. I didn't expect nothing crazy, though, because you always sending me some fire-ass music, bro. <laughs> hey, man, y'all ain't going to be leaving me out of the conversation. My favorite deck is fucking... Uh, Alistair Crowley's deck, the the Thoth deck. All 
And y'all see how they be leaving me out this shit, man? What the fuck? <laughs> One of a kind handmade decks I want. Yeah, man. My homegirl had made a deck, man. I was going to buy that bitch, but I'm like, bro. I can't. It, it, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I don't even fucking want to make fucking nothing else, bro. I don't. I, besides making like trading cards, I always I used to make trading cards as a kid. So the fact that tarot is like something that I use as a divination tool, I would have to come up with my own system first. Like align it to a system. Oh yeah, definitely. Man, yo, tarot is probably like the dopest shit. That's probably one of the tightest divination tools besides runes. Runes is probably, I ain't gonna lie, runes have become my favorite because the almost the same amount of runes is the same amount of major arcana. So, and then you got the like, hell yeah. Ooh, so I do like a traditional like tarot deck, but just on like an astro astrological setup. And then you have the oracle for it. Yeah, bro, that would be sick. That would be sick as fuck. Now you gotta make some void thoughts so we can do like a whole fucking package, you know? <laughs> or matter of fact, you do a tarot deck. She do an oracle deck and I'm gonna make some rooms, bro. We just put it all in the fucking... Oh yeah, well... I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna talk for her. She says she don't fuck with astrology like that. She she not like super adept in astrology, but I study um, Vedic astrology for a few years. Vedic astrology probably my shit, bro. And that would be like Eastern astrology, the sidereal charts over um, the tropical shit. But I, I fuck with both of them. Right now, the um, the shit that I'm just starting to get into is draconian astrology, man. Like, that shit, yeah. Y'all need to fucking look up draconian astrology for real. Like, for everybody watching this stream. I'm in tropical, I'm a sun, moon, cancer. Oh, shit. That's hard as fuck. I don't know very many cancer people. My cousin's a cancer, but I don't get to talk to him much. He only calls every once in a blue moon. But um, I love cancers. They're they're so like cool and nurturing as people. Like the fact that you on here, fucking with me, like like we going to the family reunion and shit, lets me know that it makes sense why you why you are. It's because you're a cancer. That's pretty cool, man. So I put it in the chat, y'all, for all my people watching this from outside of Twitch. Y'all still some suckers. I ain't even gonna cap. Go, go make a fucking Twitch channel, please. And subscribe. I know you got Amazon Prime. Y'all be fucking watching porn on Amazon Prime and stupid shit like that. Subscribe to your boy channel so we can drop these bombs on your head ass. Your neck ass, like I be saying at 11. <laughs> your neck ass. All right, so draconian astrology is the shit I've been studying as of recent, just for shits and giggles, not really going too deep into it. Pretty soon I'll probably learn how to read the charts. In tropical, I'm a Taurus sun and a um, Aries moon. But in Vedic, I am a Aries sun and a Pisces moon. So pick your poison. Really, I resonate more with the Aries Sun, Pisces Moon, because my fucking personality is so fast-paced and ADHD that it, it kind of makes sense. And even though I'm the older, the oldest of my sibling, they treat me like the baby. So he's a, a Sun Gemini in a tropical, which is funny because he definitely acts like it. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna wrap up this stream. Much love to all my family. That be in the chat, like always. We be turning up. We be having fun in this bitch. If you are still a sucker-ass nigga watching this from outside of Twitch, go make a Twitch, please. Visit my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Oh, shit. Gemini Ascendant in the house. I'm a, uh, I'm a Leo Ascendant. And... 
Well, and Vedic, I'm a Leo ascendant, but in um, and tropical, I'm a Aquarius ascendant. I want to say Aquarius ascendant. Yeah. But yeah. Much love to everybody, you, your, and your family, and the world. I am probably going to be here. Yeah, yeah, Vedic is Cyril. Vedic is Cyril, yeah. Vedic astrology is Cyril. The album is coming out, y'all, on October 5th. But I'm doing, I'm streaming the album for everybody on October 2nd at 6 p.m. For everybody who is, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the shit. It's so much easier to read and, and they have the nakshatras instead of just only just the sun and the moon and the fucking rising sign and the MC. Like, I like the nakshatras, man. It goes deeper into like your, uh, your dosha and shit like that. So that shit is, yeah, that shit is lit, bro. That's why I fuck with Vedic, bro. It's just way more lit. Cause it's it's more of like a healing science. And it combines astrology and the yogas with it. Like the shit is so sick, bro. But yeah, I'm out this bitch, man. I'll holla at y'all later. I could literally talk about this shit all day. So next stream, we gonna be fucking, exactly. It's more holistic, bro. Like you literally can heal yourself. With Cyber. Straight up, y'all. If y'all fucking with astrology, check out Sire Real Astrology and look up Vedic Astrology or Ayurveda Astrology. And I'll put this in the chat, too. Y'all know me and, uh, me and gang, we coming with the knowledge. Best believe. You better believe it, baby. But I'm going to show y'all the commercial again so y'all know the dates and what's going on with the album. The first single is coming out September 2nd. So y'all be ready, man. It's just a few days, all right? But again, much love to my dog, Void Thought. Much love to 11.11. Much love to Tefnet. Oh, yeah. Always, bro. Always, always. <laughs> always. I'm going to miss y'all. Till next time, everybody. <laughs> Tom Brady, uh, for the 80s, reinstated. Hey, where we at with it? I can't stand. Dedication.